Here we are again in the footwell of my North American Spec Range Rover, and uh, I wanted to quickly go over some of the LED uh, features on the front of the Buddy Box once again. And in this instance, we're not doing a normal operation. I've actually physically disconnected my EAS computer. So the the C117 connector is actually physically disconnected. It's not attached to the car in any way. So what's going to happen when we plug this in, we're actually going to get kind of a, a null response. And I'm going to show you how you can kind of troubleshoot some of the connections with your EAS computer. The red LED is illuminating. And the yellow LED is not going to flash. So we see the buddy box trying to communicate, but nothing coming back. So the red LED is sending out commands. It's kind of saying, hello, hello, hello. I'm here, I'm here. Is anything there? And nothing's coming back. Now the buddy box is still trying to actually uh, remove and or clear the fault. You can see the green LED will still illuminate, but without any kind of you know connection, this yellow LED will only illuminate when you're receiving commands back from the EAS. And in this instance, because I've physically disconnected the EAS, nothing is coming back. Now, I bring this up because you there's actually a fair amount of information you can glean from these LEDs and in in troubleshooting a uh, a connection that that won't establish. Now, I bring this up because there have been a couple of instances where users um, have run into problems where there's been some wiring problems with their vehicle and the actual uh, ES computer was physically disconnected from from the OBD2 port. And it had just happened over the years where corrosion and physical vibration and just trauma to the vehicle had broken these wires. So. If you see that kind of pattern where the yellow LED is not responding, the first area to look is um, you know to actually check your physical connectivity between your OBD2 port and your EAS box, your EAS computer. There is another instance which may cause uh, a similar LED pattern that we were just describing, and that's that the ignition key is not in the correct position. Uh, typically, the ignition key is is supposed to be in the second position. That position is where all the uh, accessories come on, the radio and the air conditioning and the blowers. Uh, th those will all come on in the second key position. Uh, that, that's the typical operating uh, procedure. Um, I have had instances where people state that that the EAS computer doesn't have power until the engine's actually running. Um, that could be a possibility if you uh, fail to have communications the ES may just not just not have power. Uh, but overall, you shouldn't really have any kind of trouble establishing communications with the ES computer. Another instance uh, could arise where the AS fault that you have is so severe that the AS buddy box clears that fault, but then that fault immediately comes back. And those kinds of instances are usually if you have a, a sensor problem or a real catastrophic leak, uh, and any attempts to clear the fault will be successful, but that fault will immediately come back. And that's fairly rare. It's not really to be expected, but it is a possibility.